Hello, everyone. I'm Joseph Jaraputo, the publisher and editorial director of Global Finance. We're excited you're with us for the first ever virtual award announcement of the innovators and the world's best innovation labs. Hope you're all staying healthy and safe during this unprecedented experience. Shortly, I'll announce the winners of the eighth annual Global Finance Innovator Awards. In pre-COVID-19 times, this was a multi-step process, starting with our call for entries. We then evaluate the entries, select winners, issue a press release, publish results in Global Finance and on GF Mag, and finally conduct ALA award ceremonies in New York, London, and Dubai. This year, as the pandemic forced governments and businesses to make extensive changes to their operating procedures, it also inspired unique opportunities. Like so many, we at Global Finance are spending a lot of time in, on Zoom and other similar systems. We decided a Zoom award announcement this year would be more exciting than issuing our usual press release. I'd like to introduce Global Finance's European editor, Anita Hauser, who along with Jilly Wright, our technology editor, led the evaluation team for these awards. Anita will describe the methodology used to select the winners. I will then return and announce the award winners. Here's Anita. So when it comes to assessing the, this year's innovators, we looked at innovation mostly in the context of product or process innovations. We weren't really interested in innovation for innovation's sake or the latest technology buzzwords. We also didn't just exclusively focus on radical or disruptive innovations. Ultimately, we were more concerned with the impact the innovation had in terms of creating value for customers or addressing a specific need. So it could be anything from like speeding up the lending or credit review process for small businesses, enabling companies to deposit checks remotely without having to visit a physical branch, or innovations that really significantly reduced the time or cost it takes business companies to perform routine business or financial tasks. These are innovations that we felt really transform customers' business lives, helping them operate more effectively in a significantly challenged business and economic environment, as well as giving them the opportunity to identify new business opportunities while reducing risks, costs, and the time they spend on slow and cumbersome manual processes. this year's awards, we recognize that not all regions move at the same pace when it comes to digital and financial innovation. Digital or mobile banking or finance solutions may be well advanced in some markets and relatively undeveloped in others. So some innovations were chosen not because they were global or regional firsts, but because they met specific local needs and showed understanding and imagination in solving local problems. We also looked at how technology was harnessed to deliver the greatest customer impact and best user experience. For the best financial innovation labs, nominations were judged based on whether they offered a substantive program focus solely or mainly on fintech solutions for business or corporate banking customers. Whether they had a proven track record in helping a substantive number of business to business fintech startups. We also looked at factors such as whether these labs offered a strong partner ecosystem, provided seed money and reported metrics on their website. So taking all of those factors into consideration, we assessed all the submissions before sharing regional, global, and category shortlists with the magazine's senior editors. Thank you, Anita. The last few months have highlighted the importance of adaptability and gave us a glimpse of a contactless future, as well as some of the new thinking that will be key to forging business models that succeed. 
By showcasing the world's most innovative financial players, Global Finance encourages the visioning and development of creative solutions to the financial challenges faced by corporate and retail clients. Today's awards are in three groups. The first will be for the best financial innovation labs. Second will be the top innovators. And finally, the most innovative banks and fintechs in each of seven regions. Global Finance has identified the world's best financial innovation labs. Sometimes called innovation hubs or accelerators, they take many forms. They can be hosted or sponsored by public agencies, private companies, or both. They typically offer education, facilities, and networking opportunities. They support innovation and deliver benefits to banks, companies, their clients, and society at large, nurturing both startups and stalwarts that excel in breakthrough thinking. Here are the winning labs and their location. The, uh, the first um, lab on the list is Accelerator Frankfurt in Frankfurt. Alior RBL Start in Warsaw. Bain and Company in Boston. Bank Columbia Innovation Lab in Medellin. Barclays Accelerator in multiple locations. Beta I in Lisbon. BNY Mellon Global Innovation Centers in multiple locations. Boost Lab, powered by BTG Pakshawal in Sao Paulo. Boston Consulting Group in Boston. Capital One Labs in multiple locations. City Innovation Labs in multiple locations. Commerce Bank Group, Mine Incubator, Frankfurt. Copenhagen FinTech Lab in Copenhagen. Cyberport in Hong Kong. DBS Asia X in Singapore. Deloitte in multiple locations. Deutsche Bank Innovation Labs in multiple locations. DIFC FinTech Hive. Dubai, ePixel in Milan, RBI in Vienna, Fidelity Center for Applied Technology and Fidelity Labs in New York, FinLab in Frankfurt, FinTech Innovation Lab in multiple locations. LUISSN Labs in Milan, OTP Bank Innovation Lab in Budapest, PayPal Innovation Lab in Singapore, Santander Inno Ventures in London, Startup Bootcamp FinTech in multiple locations. Synecron Fin Labs in multiple locations. Tatra Banka Elevator Labs in Bratislava. Tech Quartier in Frankfurt. UBS Labs in multiple locations. Wells Fargo Startup Accelerator in New York. And the final winner, Yes FinTech in Mumbai. Congratulations to all of the Innovator Lab winners. This year, Global Finance has picked the top innovations in the following sectors, cash management, 
corporate finance, Islamic finance, payments, and trade finance. Global finance has also named a group of innovations that don't neatly fit into any of these categories, but still deserve to be recognized. They are announced as special honors. I will now announce the innovator winners with a very brief description of their innovation. In cash management, Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank, Virtual Accounts Phase 2 API, Bank of America, Enhanced FX Trade and Pay, and also Apple Watch Token App, DBS, DBS Max Business to Business, and DBS Max Client Integration. First Abu Dhabi Bank, Global Cash Position Mobile App. ING, Zero Knowledge Proof Notary. Kotak Mahindra Bank, C2B Platform. Security Bank Philippines, Security Bank Salary Advance. Tishan Bank, Tishan Direct Link API, Smart Payment and Collection. Those are the winners for innovation in cash management. The winners in corporate finance are Alpha Bank Belarus, online FX in sync mobile app. Ascendant FX, Payee Intel. Aseco, Aseco Customer Intelligence. Panistmo, First Gender Social Bond in Latin America. Bank of America, Predictive Intellig Intelligence Analytics Machine. BBVA, Blockchain Green Bond. Kaisha Bank, Kaisha Bank Digital Onboarding. ING, Corp ID. Signum Bank, Digital Asset Banking Services and Products. TEB, SME Digital Banking Platform. In Islamic finance, the winners are Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank, Express Finance, Smart Banking, and Money Smart AE. Al Amal Microfinance Bank, Electronic Loan Service. Gulf International Bank, Digitizing Umrah Payments. Qatar Islamic Bank, Digital Onboarding. In payments, the winners are Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank, ADCB Mobile Token, City Banamex, QR Digital Payments Project, Fiserv with two wins for Connected Commerce and PIN on Mobile Payment, Imagine BC, a closed loop ecosystem. ING, Thin Banking of Things. Intesa San Paolo, Integrated B2P Solution. Kairiba, Kairiba Payments Network. Taishin Bank, Bank, no, I'm sorry, Pay Plus. Telenor Microfinance Bank, Easy Pesa App. The winners in the trade finance category are Anglo Gulf Trade Bank, the world's first fully digital trade bank. 
Next is Asian Development Bank for Trade Finance Knowledge Solutions. Bank of America, Supplier Enablement Tool. DBS, Digi Onboarding. Gulf International Bank, Electronic Supply Chain Finance. Kotec Mahindra Bank, Digital Vendor Financing Solution with Dynamic Discounting. Standard Bank, One Farm. Trade Tech, Credit Scoring and Electronic Trading Platform. Triteris, Kratos Platform. Unicredit, Trade Finance OCR. Now we move on to the special honors for the innovators. For FX cash management payments, Standard Bank, the innovation is Shift. In life insurance, EFU Life Assurance Limited, Biometric Life Insurance Smart System. In personal banking, Banco de Bobaca, Shortcuts. Again, in personal banking, Belgaz Prom Bank, banking app game, Cash a Lot Catch. Again, in personal banking, Kaisha Bank, My Activity. In personal banking, HBL Pakistan, two awards for gamification, invite and earn, and lifestyle partnerships. The final personal banking category is for Sparebank, Sparebank Personal ATMs Interface. And the last of the innovators is S for SME Loans. The winner is Fubon SME App for Business Loans. Congratulations to all of the innovators. Our final awards go to the most innovative fintechs and banks in seven global regions. And the winners are in the Asia Pacific, the fintech company is Triteris. In Central and Eastern Europe, the winner is Aseco. In North America, the award goes to Kyriba. In Western Europe, the award goes to Trade Tech. And now for our final set of awards, the most innovative banks by region. In Africa, Echo Bank. In the Asia Pacific, DBS. In Central and Eastern Europe, Sparebank. In Latin America, Banco do Brazil. In the Middle East, Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank. In North America, Bank of America. And the final winner for today in Western Europe is ING. Congratulations to all of the winners. What happens next? Well, first we hope all of the winners will celebrate with appropriate social distancing, of course. Global Finance will put out a press release which you can access on gfmag.com. The release will contain all of the information we discussed today. You will also be able to view the video announcement on GFMag's YouTube channel. 
Of course, Global Finance will publish the winners and supporting editorial content in the June issue of Global Finance magazine and on its website, GFMag, and in a digital edition that will be available for the duration of the pandemic. And then in the weeks ahead, we will make a decision concerning an awards event. We'll keep you informed about that. For all of the winners, these awards offer a number of other opportunities. Awards properly used enhance employee morale, age recruitment, and in many cases present marketing and sales opportunities. And of course, there are personal benefits. Throughout the years, Global Finance's awards have given a strong career boost to many of the people who have positioned their colleagues and their companies to be winners. We are here to assist with all of these opportunities, whether it's through use of our awards logos or print, digital, or social marketing of your award. You can contact the gentleman listed on your screen now. That's all. Goodbye from all of us at Global Finance, and please stay well.